my phone going all night. Porky, Porky, what's your views on this? Well, let me wake up first. Six in the morning. Right. Hello, all you hardcores. How are you doing? Big P here. The ruthless. Ruthless. Voice of hardcore boxing. I've just seen. Let's get stuck in, shall we? Thursday morning. Day off for me today. A bit of badminton, I think. Just seeing something flash up from boxing now, YouTube. They're all two faced. It's from Peter Fury having a go at somebody, but I'll probably watch it and it won't be anybody in particular. It'll just be a catchy title. There's nothing wrong with that. So, right. For those of you that subscribed and liked and commented on our sister channel, Porkers International, thank you very much. Two channels aren't going to. Right. The main talking point is this. Daniel Dubois, his old man, who's a complete whopper, he's, uh, he's supposed to have uh, given Daddy Don Charles his cards. Well, if that's true, and then he decides they want to take him back, Don will go running back, because he did it six times with Derek Chisora, didn't he? But I always like to be different to all the rest of them now. I've seen these clips that Big Malk's involved in. Big Malk. <laughs> Good old Big Malk. Sat behind his big desk with his big bins on like that. <laughs> Oscar Rivers failed the test as well. <laughs> big Malk got that wrong, didn't he? Listen, Big Malk couldn't lie straight in bed. So whatever he says... Always think the opposite. So if Big Malk says that Don Charles has been sent packing, right, on a Wednesday in fight week for the biggest fight of his life, coming off Jarrell Miller and Ergovic wins, his best wins, right, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Do you know why? Because it's boxing, isn't it? It's boxing. It's full of liars, charlatans, and vagabonds. <laughs> Off with their heads. All right? I don't believe for one minute they're going to put him through a 10-week camp and then pull the plug uh, with three days to go. 72 hours before fight, they're going to pull the plug. Not on your Nelly. Not on your Nelly. I mean, how stupid would that be? Dubar's dad might be a whopper, but no, I ain't having it. A lot of people won't remember this, but I covered this a few years ago. I had Mark Tibbs on the channel. He's a very good friend of mine. Now, Mark Tibbs had Dubar to his gym, and his old man came. Now, after one day there, Mark Tibbs went, I'm going to pass up on training your son. Do you know why? Because the father got too involved. Fathers in boxing who are not the trainer who are on the sidelines, getting it this, getting it that, ranting and raving, screaming and shouting, scheming and slaying behind the scenes. No good. No good at all. They should stay out at gym. Absolutely. Stay out at way. Absolutely unbelievable. Alex Ferguson won't have. Anybody coming into training sessions, would he, would he say, no, my son should be playing in midfield. He's not he's not a striker or he, my son's a, uh, not a goalie, he's a defender. It, it wouldn't happen, would it? So why, do, why does boxing allow it? They let any whoppers in, don't they? Hey? Any whoppers in. So personally, I don't believe it. I think it's a load of old knackers. I think it's mind games. So there you go. That's the first point. There's 10, point, 10 bullet points here. Oh, way well I get near to the end of this. Or I might do it in the middle. I'm like that. But that, to me, is a load of old hogwash. Hey, if he has, if he has been sacked, more for them. But come on, I don't believe that. 
for one minute. For one minute at all. Right. Seconds out. I've been told they've lost their press pass. What do I think to that? If they've lost it, so what? I lost mine years ago. Just for asking a couple of simple questions. I don't care to... to well, I don't care for seconds out. They don't really bother me. All I've seen that lot do is that for years, absolute years. And everybody knows that Flexon's a brick tops mole. Now, if they've lost the press pass, what happened to that? Friends to the end. Listen, there's no friends in boxing. People can turn on you just like that. They mainly do it for a good few quid, or if you rock the boat, they'll turn on you. So harsh lesson for them, but Coogan's lost his before, but you'll get it back. All you've got to do is do a lot more of that and keep that shut, and you'll be all right. Structured questions. We all know what happens, don't we? Hey, Eddie Earn, he don't mention it now, do you? Or Eddie Hills, the 6 and oh ice man from Billy Ricky, four by way of. <laughs> Eddie Hills, not so long ago, came out and he said that they were all structured questions. Do you remember? <laughs> it's not like when me and Big Ron used to be doing our interviews on Porker's Corner. I just used to fire him at him. Let me tell you this, not once, and I mean not once, and you can ask anybody this, Chris Smedley, Dave Allen, any of them, Liam Cameron, Michelle in office, not once did I say to Dennis, I'm going to ask you this, Dennis, I'm going to ask you that. I just used to fire him fire him at him. And then after, we used to get at it. That's a true story, that. That's as real as you're going to get. Not structured knackers like that lot. So that's that covering seconds out. I don't care. If you've lost your press pass, you'll have to get some more noshers done, won't you? Blow jobs. Derek Chisora. And Eddie Hills. Now, these catchy titles you see on IFL where Derek's saying you've got to suck dick and all that, it's tongue in cheek. So you so you so you so you catch you watch it, it's tongue in cheek, knackers. The mates, they were sat in Eddie's roller the other week. Pals, Nando in it. So no, load of knackers, load of knackers. A bit like Eddie and uh, what's he called? Ben Shallum. That catchy title. We're mates. They're all working together now. Nobody's going to rock the boat now. Not when they've got a guy throwing two billion at the sport. Two billion they've stuck in so far, and they're going to put more in. So, no. <laughs> they're throwing tenors about like it's going out of confetti. Ten millions at this and five millions at that, like nothing. So nobody's going to rock the boat. Everybody wants to be friends to the end, like Chucky. You seen it? Child's play. Chucky. I end up filming, he goes, Andy, friends to the end. You know, just as he's about to kill him, that horrible evil doll. So no, nobody's going to rock the boat. They're all mates. They all want to be fake mates. So I would have knackers. I don't believe that. Uh, what I do want to talk about is a real man. Not like that lot. Usek got arrested at Poland, didn't it, over some misunderstanding. The Ukrainian president got involved while he's arrested and detained at a Poland airport, Polish airport. Usek just went, no, it's just a misunderstanding. He never come out with any bitterness or anything. He took it on chin. And there's a lot to be said for that because... I got arrested on plane or on the plane at Portugal and coming off it because I was accused of peeing all over the plane and I w I wasn't very pleased on that and I wouldn't have been so forthcoming as Usek was. So I think Usek's a proper bloke. He's got a lot of patience and I think he punches Fury upside down in December if Fury doesn't lose his arsehole. So I look at it. Uh We've covered the Big Mark situation. Wembley tickets. <laughs> Have you seen prices at Wembley tickets now? And we'll just get them up. We'll just get them up. Right, I'm going to read them out now to you. Upper tier, free, a blocker free, row 546, now down to 45 quid. Block free, all the way up to 14. They're available. They were 85 quid. Pitch sitting, 
is now 555 quid from 755. Ringside is now 700 quid from 1,000, but there were 2,000 two months ago. Add this sent over, Porky. What do you think? You see these are screenshots as well. So oh, what, what happened to all that? It's a sellout in an hour, and we're going to get an extra 6,000 tickets. Load of rubbish. They've given tickets to uh, West Midlands Fire Service and Help for Heroes. So what happened to all that? It's sold out. It's a sellout. They just lie, like, don't they? They can't they can lie straight in bed. None of these people, can they? Absolute whoppers. But it is a good fight and a good show, but there's not a lot of dough about at the moment in this country, is there? That's that one dealt with. Uh, we spoke about Eddie bullying Adrian Mole, didn't we, Ben Shalom? I mean, let's have it right. Ben Shalom is out his depth, isn't he? Absolutely out in his depth. And I see Eddie Hills going back there to Sky at some point. Uh Titles, heated debate seems to be the latest one. We've either got brutally honest or heated, heated debate. You're dealing with absolute vagabonds. Brutally honest. Are you telling me half of that lot are honest? And heated debate. What were heated about the Chisora, Eddie, uh, Eddie Hills chat or Adrian Mole and Eddie Hills having a chat? What were heated about that lot? They're all grinning like Cheshire cats. What a load of knackers. A load of hype. You know what I mean? What's the other one? Last one. Oh, somebody said to me that I'm supposed to have text on uh, Paddy Conroy's channel asking to do a collaboration with him or something. No, I ain't. When they do that, all you do is you click on it and uh, it'll tell you when the channel was set up. And usually some of these fake Porky's Corner ones are set up. Uh, Recently, this has been going seven years, man. November 17th, 2017. But I think on the live chat, you can't check, but I don't go on them live chats and you, I don't do collaborations. I think I've done one with, I think I went on that Decker Eggies dinner. Uh, I did one with him and uh, I tied him in knots, but uh, I don't know him. But I ain't got nothing against Paddy Conroy. In fact, Every now and then, somebody sends me one of his videos, and I think he's quite funny. Patch on Iron and Stoned and all that. Plus, he's done a 10 stretch, hasn't he? And he escaped from uh, from prison, didn't he? What, it in Van or something? So, I I always root for bad guys, me. You know, people like that. So, good luck to him. But I don't know him, but good luck to him. But I doubt I'd probably do it. I'd go, go on his channel because I don't think it's to do with boxing or not like that. Unless he wanted to come on here and talk about boxing, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Uh, you could talk about boxing, but I know he's a bit warm and that up there and that, and he's got loads of respect to that, but I don't really uh, know it, know him at all. But like I said, anybody who's been involved in that kind of life and done a big sentence like that and took it on chin and even escaped from prison and anti-establishment and all that, I kind of respect people like that. So good luck to him. You know, he looks like he's gone straight, doesn't it? He? And he's doing his YouTube channel, getting his point across, and I ain't got a problem with him. But no, I haven't asked to go on it, go on his channel. But if he wanted to talk boxing, he'd be more than welcome to come on here and have a chat about boxing. All right. Don't mean to say I want to swap spit in shower with him or or anything like that. But like I said, I always root for the for the bad guys and people who go up against the establishment. I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. I think you're just born naughty, aren't you? But Good luck to him, but no, I haven't uh, I haven't uh, commented on his channel or anything like that. But the gentleman who asked me, so it's not first time actually somebody's uh, asked me that about me going on his channel. <laughs> I don't know, but okay, okay. Uh, somebody also asked me about the frotch saying that Anthony Joshua, if he loses, is he's finished. Well, I think he's been finished a few years, to be honest. I mean, his last world title win were Pulef, and that was donkey's years ago, wasn't it? Pulef fight. So, donkey's years ago. So, that was his last world title win. Since then, what has he done? He just got beat, hasn't he? So, so he got beat against Dulcet twice. He's already been done by Ruiz. Um, now he's got Dubois. That's an hard fight for him. And I hope Dubois lights him up. 
Oh, I ain't buying any of this. Don Charles has been sent packing. Oh, this shit. What sort of person in the right mind? What sort of person in the right mind is going to send uh, the trainer packing on a Wednesday, a fight week? Eh? Absolute whopper if he's done it, his old man. But I ain't buying it. I think it's mind games. So, okie dokie. Oh, shit, dude. Where to get up and get this run done? Go on, peace out. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a comment. Max, give me a ring when you're 18 stone. Don't bother me till then, Max. I'm not interested. You're a messer. All right. <laughs>